हेलो टिकीज वेलकम टू आवर कॉन्फ़िग फाइल वीडियो सीरीज ऑफ एम एस पावर ऑटोमेट डेस्कटॉप इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी हाउ टू क्रिएट फ्लो फॉर कॉन्फ़िग फाइल इन एम एस पावर ऑटोमेट डेस्कटॉप सो लेट्स सी फर्स्ट हाउ कॉन्फ़िग फाइल लुक लाइक हियर यू कैन सी कॉन्फ़िग फाइल इट हैज थ्री कॉलम नेम वैल्यू एंड डिस्क्रिप्शन एंड ऑल्सो इट हैज सेटिंग कंस्टेंट एंड एसेट so before go ahead further in this video i humble request to you guys if you are new in this channel please don't forget to subscribe the channel because your one subscribe motivate us to create a content like this so without wasting time let's open ms power automate desktop and see how we can create a flow for config file and after this we will run the flow to check how do we read value from config file so now i am on ms power automate desktop workspace for our time saving i have already created a flow for this so let me explain first what i did in this flow and after this we will run and see the output here you can see i have taken one set variable action in this action in variable you can see i have created one variable and the variable name is config and value parameter here you can see i am mentioning this value because this is the way to store all the available value in this spreadsheet into config variable and after this here you can see i have taken run sub flow action to call read config sub flow so let's move to read config sub flow here you can see i have taken terminate process to close already open excel here the here is the way you can select process name and process name here already available you can mention as per your requirement and after this i have taken launch excel to launch this excel file here in this launch excel here you can see i am mentioning the path of this file here this file and after this i have taken get all excel worksheet why i have taken this one because here you can see there are multiple sheets available in this spreadsheet that is why i have taken get all excel worksheet action and store into sheet names variable and after this i have taken for each in for each here you can see value to iterate parameter i am mentioning sheet name variable and store into current sheet variable and here after this i have taken sheet active excel worksheet and in this action parameter i am mentioning here you can see activate worksheet with i have selected name and worksheet name here I, i am mentioning current sheet variable and after this i have taken get first free column row from excel worksheet so what is the meaning of first free column or row let me explain here you can see this spreadsheet has a first free row is 4 and first free column is d so i hope you understood about get first free row and column and here it will store in first free column variable and first free row variable and after this i have taken another loop in this loop you can see the parameter start from i am mentioning 2 because here you can see your value is available from 2 and after this end to first free row minus 1 this is the variable first free row and incremented by 1 and store into loop index variable and after this here you can see i have taken two read from excel worksheet with the help of this action i am reading this file this column name and value column and store into temp key and temp value here you can see the parameter retrieve the value of a single cell i have selected as a start column a 
start row loop index and store into temp key value and here in another read from excel worksheet a start column b and a start row loop index and a store into temp value variable and after this i have checked temp key variable is isn't empty if it is true then i have taken one set variable in this set variable action here you can see there is a way to store value into temp key variable here config a square bracket open and mentioning here temp key this is the variable name and value parameter i am mentioning temp value variable and after this here you can see i have taken close excel to close already open excel so let's move to our main flow here you can see with the help of run sub flow here i have selected read config sub flow and after this i have taken display message to display this url this url we want to display with the help of our flow so here you can see here this is the way to get this value this one so website url here you can see is the key and config is a variable we have already created with the help of set variable so let's run and see this value is displaying or not this value so let's run and see the output i am running your flow here you can see your flow is executing now just wait for a while your flow is storing all the data into config variable and after this it will display a specific value so here you can see your flow has been executed successfully here website url is this one we have already seen in a excel spreadsheet so i hope you understood about how to create a flow to read a value from config file so thank you for watching this video we will meet in a next video till then keep learning and keep exploring